Korg D3200 Digital Recording Studio was released onto the market around 2006. I purchased my Korg second hand for 600 New Zealand dollars in 2012, which I thought was amazing value for money. I really wanted to fully commit to recording on a computer digital audio workstation, but I just couldn't afford the I.O. to be able to record something like a four-piece rock band live. Wanting to record 44.1 24-bit limits the Korg to 12 channels of simultaneous recording, but despite the Korg manual confusingly stating that you can only transfer 16-bit WAV files via USB, I found that you could successfully transfer 24-bit files. To use as an example, a recent project of mine, recording several songs for a singer-songwriter, I chose a song called Safe Investment, where the drums were recorded to a click track on the Korg in 44.1 24-bit. There were 10 channels used for the drums. First, bring the song up on the Korg and find out how long it is. With the time clock at the beginning of the song, press the store button. The stored time, in this case zero, will come up on the screen with a prompt to press location or LOC1. Push the LOC1 in button. Fast forward to the end of the song, in this case it is 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Push the store button, again you'll be prompted to press location or LOC1. Push the LOC2 out button. Push the track button on the control panel and then select the edit track tab on the LCD screen. Select the copy track tab and then the source triangle. In the left hand box, select the number of tracks you want to transfer, in this case it was 16. Click on the OK tab. The screen should go back to the copy track screen. Select the triangle next to destination. Click on the clip tab and then OK. A prompt screen should appear that says are you sure? Select yes. It only takes a few seconds. Click on the OK tab of the completed prompt screen. The copy track display should be up. Click on the export tab. At this point I decided to rename the files safe for safe investment which is the name of the song. When you click on execute another are you sure prompt screen appears. Select yes. At this point I'd suggest going and make yourself a cup of coffee. It took around 8 minutes to export the drum tracks for this song. When it's done, a complete prompt screen appears. Select OK. Press the System MIDI button on the Korg control panel. Select the PC file on the screen. Ensure you have a USB cable connected between the Korg and your PC. On the Korg screen, click on the USB Mode tab. The D3200 should now be talking to your computer. Check the File Explorer screen on your computer. The Korg 3200 icon should appear under the expansion drives. Double click the Korg drive and then select the Korg folder. Open the WAV folder. Our 16 exported WAV files are in that folder. My digital audio workstation of choice is Reaper and I like to keep all my Reaper projects in one folder, and in this case I created a subfolder called Safe Investment. By opening up two windows, you can simply highlight and then drag and drop your WAV files into a new song folder. Just to confirm that they are in fact the correct sample rate and bit depth, I dropped one of the files into FUBAR and then checked under Track Properties, which shows it is 44.1 24-bit. I hope this video was useful to you. If you liked the video and it helped you, please click the thumbs up button.